Did you know that minerals like copper and silver help eliminate algae, kill contaminants, and cut down your need for chemicals? Mineral systems and pool ionizers use these algae-fighting elements to prevent green water, sanitize your pool, and reduce the need for chlorine by more than half. But there are some downsides, like potential staining. So before you switch to a mineral system or an ionizer, here's a quick guide on the pros and cons compared to chlorine or salt. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University, and before we get into this video, if you're new to taking care of a pool and you want more help, check out our Pool Care Handbook. It's an easy to follow manual made specifically for new pool owners, and you can grab your copy at swimu.com book. First, how do mineral systems and pool ionizers actually work? They both release copper or silver ions into your pool water, inhibiting algae growth and keeping your water sanitized. Silver has antibacterial properties that keep your contaminants in check, and copper works as a natural algicide. That's why you'll see many algicide products containing copper. Now, mineral systems and pool ionizers come in a few different formats. They'll either use mineral cartridges to slowly release ions into the water, or they'll use electricity or solar power to produce ions through an ionizing cell. And there are three common products that you'll see. Number one is a skimmer or pump-based mineral dispenser. These cartridge-based dispensers lower right into your skimmer basket or your pump basket, and as the water flows through your plumbing and over the dispenser, it releases minerals into the water. Number two is floating dispensers or floating ionizers. Similar to a chlorine tablet floater, these are added directly to your pool water. Floating dispensers release minerals into the water through their cartridges, and floating ionizers use solar power or electricity to release mineral ions into the water. And number three is inline mineral systems or ionizers. Now these connect directly to your pool's plumbing and usually require professional installation. They'll either be cartridge based or they'll use electricity to release ions. So what are the pros and cons of a mineral system or an ionizer compared to a regular chlorine pool? Well, mineral systems and ionizers have a lot of benefits. Number one is that you'll need less chlorine in the water. Because the minerals actively work to eliminate contaminants and algae, you only need 0.5 to one part per million of chlorine in your water, and that's compared to the standard three parts per million. Number two is that you'll have less issues with high CYA. Now, if you're using stabilized chlorine that contains CYA, like chlorine tablets or granules, a mineral system or an ionizer can help keep high CYA in check. That's because you'll need less chlorine in the water, which means you'll have less CYA. Number three is it's easy to use. If you're not installing an inline system, this can be an easy way to help sanitize your water. It works with almost any type of pool, like salt and ozone systems. And of course, they're great in classic chlorine pools. Number four is that you can even use it with existing algae problems. You can add a mineral system or an ionizer if your water is currently green to help clear things up. Now, it might take a while to kick in, but it can start helping. But, of course, there are some downsides to these systems. Number one is that you'll still need to add chlorine to the water. Again, you'll only need 0.5 to one part per million of chlorine compared to the normal three parts per million of chlorine. But it's not a completely chlorine-free solution. Number two is that copper can stain. Most mineral systems and ionizers dose out their copper in a way that prevents staining, but if you already have copper in your water, you'll probably encounter staining issues. Number three is that you'll need to replace parts and keep it clean. The mineral cartridge needs replacing often, usually every six months, and ionizers need their copper electrodes or cells replaced every few years. They also require regular cleaning since scale can build up. In the end, a mineral system or an ionizer is an easy and potentially helpful solution to your algae problems. Just test your water for metals before using it and be prepared to pay for any replacement parts or installation. Now, what about mineral systems versus saltwater pools? You can actually use a mineral system or an ionizer together with a saltwater pool. Because the copper and silver help fight contaminants, you can reduce your salt system's chlorine output by 50%. And less chlorine output means less work for your saltwater generator. And that means a longer life for your saltwater cell. Plus, by running your saltwater generator less, you'll have less spikes in pH. Finally, if you need more help, check out our pool care handbook at swimu.com book. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.